let's have a look at making a really simple eye in Maya that you can fit to your ghost model. So it's quite simple. First thing I'm going to do is I'm in polygons up here and you can see I've got my um, menu set to modeling here in Maya. So I'm going to click on this spherical polygon and it's created, so that's fine. So this will form the basis of the eyeball, so we'll assume it's going to be um, a spherical eye. So let's start out. First thing that we want to do with this is we're going to just assign a new texture so we can start to add a um, image to it. So I'm gonna right click, come down to assign new material, and I'm going to, out of the list of materials, just assign a basic blend material which has got a slight reflectivity to it. Okay, so now that I've got this blend material, I can see it over here in my attribute editor. I'm gonna change the color of it. So I'll just click on this, um, whoops, color palette here, and I'll just change it to just, it doesn't matter what the color is. I often use a bright magenta or pink, just so I can see, I know the color is live now and it's working properly, so that's good. Okay, so this is, we've got our sphere now, but what we want to do, instead of having it pink or being driven by a single color, we want to put an image texture over the top of it. So in order to do that, I come across to this little checker box here, and I click on the checker box, and it brings up a render node menu, and the one that I'm after is file here. So I'll click on file, great. And so what it's going to do now is it allows me to link a file to um, display on the surface of my object. Now, what we need is an eye texture. So let's just have a look here. You can go to your browser and you can pop in eye texture and you'll find that there are plenty around. What you want for an eye texture is you want something a bit like this one that's got a, um, a center um, and plenty of white around it. Okay, so the iris centered in the image and uh, plenty of room around it. Most of these texture images are square like this. So this one will be good. So I'll just click on this one and I'll just go view image. Okay, so that's gonna do what I want. So I'm just going to save image as to my desktop. And I'll just give it a name. Okay. Um, wherever you save it to, make sure it's somewhere you're happy to keep it there for a while. So I'm going to go back to Maya now, and I'm going to click on this folder in the, in the file attributes, and I'm going to browse to my desktop, and I'm going to find the eye that I saved, great, and I'm going to open it up. Okay, so we've loaded it onto the eye. Now if I hit my six key, it's going to um, show us the texture wrapped onto an object, so I can start to have a look around now, and we can see that it's all stretched, so it's not exactly what we're after at the moment. So what we need to do is do some UV um, unwrapping on this to get it a bit tidy. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we want to look at the eye straight on. So I'm going to click over here on this um, three-way view, and I'm going to zoom in on this view here. So I can hit my space bar when I've got my mouse in that window and it makes it large. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna click on that sphere and if I hit my number six in this window, again, it'll display the, um, the image mapped onto the sphere. So we're getting there. What we wanna do is come up to UV and we want to open the UV editor. Okay, so it creates this window I'm just going to move that down to the side for a sec. I'm going to go into face mode, so I can select faces, and I'm going to go select all, and it's going to select all of my faces. So when I come back here and have a look, I can see all of my faces mapped into this UV editor. It's a bit like a present that's been, the wrapping's been unwrapped off it. But what we want to do is we want to do a projection so that the eye is projecting straight towards us and it'll map it on nicely. It's an easy way of doing this. So we come up to UVs and we come down here to camera based. Okay, so this is camera based projection. We'll click on it, okay, and what we can see happened is we can see in here the eye is now centered in the middle, and if we have a look over here, this is the eye 
and um, it shows us the geometry and how the um, image maps onto it. Okay, so once you've got it in there, you don't really adjust the image, but you can adjust the mesh around it. So I can use my standard scale tools and move tools here. So I'll use my scale for instance. And um, if I scale within the UV editor here, you can see that as it gets, as I scale it up and down, it changes the scale of the object as well. Okay, so um, it's, it's a really um, powerful tool, UV mapping, but it is quite complex. So um, this is a good little introduction to it. So we can see now that I've got, I think I've scaled it about where I want it to be. I'm going to get rid of my UV editor because I've seen enough of it. Now I can hit my space bar and that'll take me back to that three or four window view. Two, it gives me three orthographic views, these ones here and a perspective view over here. So let's have a look in the perspective view and we'll have a bit of a hunt around our eye here. That's great, okay? Now the one thing that you'll notice is that it's got an eyeball on, it's got the iris on both sides of the eye. It doesn't matter because one side of it we're going to bury within, the, um, within your creature so you won't see it. Um, if it did become a problem, just yell out and I'll show you a different way so we can get around that problem. But for the moment, it's all good. So um, thanks for watching and give it a go.